Good, thank you. Good to see you guys. How does the cookie taste? It's actually superb. <laughs> yeah, it's my first Vons cookie, but it's a good one. Good to hear. So yeah, can you um, tell us what, what was um, the main things that you guys learned last year? that you learned as a coach last year and your main objectives in the second season? Yeah, great question. I think the biggest thing I learned was really getting to know the players and their character. And I learned that we've got a truly relentless group. We've got a hardworking group. We've got a group that are really hungry to go out and win. And, you know, the effect of not reaching playoffs for us last year was, was heartbreaking. So, you know, we've come back with a new hunger and a desire looking to perform. Um, and I think on the field, you know, we got to learn a lot about our players and it's the first time obviously that we were assembled together um, and looking at now focusing on the clarity and providing that clarity to the players on exactly what our style is, what our identity is, and then being able to, to teach that in an effective way to see, you know, the, the patterns and the way that we want to play cement themselves. What would you say was your favorite moment last year? Home opener still. Yeah, the victory is off of the home opener at the bank was, was unreal and that was an incredible moment. What expectations do we have for um, uh, Alisa Thompson? Yeah, I think, you know, she's she's shown herself to be an incredible player um, at the youth level and has performed well for the national team at the youth level as well. And now, you know, we're going to support her in coming into to the pro environment and the senior environment, help her grow and develop. But she's got such a talent. Um, you know, I think that she's incredible at 1v1s, uh, looking at beating opponents. I think she's technical um, and we're, you know, looking to just increase and provide her an environment where she can get better in those areas and I think that she's going to be a fantastic addition to the team. Coach, there's been a lot of growing support from the LA community in this inaugural year. Um, just talk about that and what it means to have that from LA. It's the way LA showed up for us last year was absolutely incredible and you know I think when the season ended everyone was like is is that it like we can't we can't stop um so now just looking forward to embracing the community even more i think we do incredible work off the field with our community team um, and the work that is done in the community to make that support a, a two-way thing um, and i'm just looking forward to getting back and you know, what makes the bank such a special place is the fact that we have our fans there and i think our fans represent the community as a whole which is you know fantastic for us and we want to be that inclusive team that welcomes everyone um, and represent LA and now it's about winning for LA. There's a few new additions to the roster and some coming back from injury. Can you just talk about how the team's gelling together? Yeah it, you know we've obviously just spent three days on the field and it's been incredible to see you know Sarah Gordon back out there and, and training with everyone, MA back out there um, and the new additions coming in well with Merritt and, and Katie, Alyssa, Angelina that we've added in. Um, and now it's about continuing to welcome our players that are still returning from injury, um, watching them progress, watching them develop. And then, you know, I think we're in, a, we're in an incredible place. We're so much further ahead than we were last year. You know, it was, it was hard starting from scratch with completely new people, uh, a new style of play, new coaching staff, everything. Um, so now it's, it's about building on what we achieved last year. But the new additions so far have been absolutely great and fitted in seamlessly. I know it's early in the season, but what improvements have you noticed from last year or lack thereof um, for the team that was just so close to making playoffs? Yeah, I think already we can start to see the understanding of the players in terms of what we're trying to achieve. I think we've set out with greater clarity um, this year in terms of how we want to play, what's expected of players in each of the different moments of the game. Um, as preseason goes on, we'll continue to build on that. But I think being able to set a really clear direction uh, and be unwavering in, in our direction that we want to take is going to be important for us. Absolutely. Have there been any players that stood out to you over the first few days that have taken a leap up? Yeah, I think a number of players have come back in hungry um, and really looking to achieve success this year. And I think that's been infectious in the group. So now everyone is, is coming in, looking to compete, looking to establish themselves as a starting player or that person that's going to be first off the bench. And I think that level of competition so far has shown and it has been really healthy.
Thank you. And do you have any updates on the status of Christian Press or any of these other players who've been injured? Yeah, Christian and Sid, you know, are continuing to work really well uh, and hard on their development and return to play. Um, we've been really pleased with their progress so far and are looking forward to, you know, supporting th them through their next stages as they rehabilitate and return to play. Is there a timeline for that? Or? Yeah, it's, it's continuing, you know, as we're going to see. Right, thank you. Could you talk about the off season? Um, there were quite a bit of changes, but specifically with the players and the transfers and the acquisitions. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, you know, for us, you know, we know we know that we wanted to strengthen in a couple of areas, and we're really pleased with the players that we've been able to bring in. You know, and I think with with our team, with some of the players that were exiting. You know, there's different, always different reasons for why players will want to exit, move on, go on loan. And I think that we were really supportive as a club and helping those players be able to find the destination or help continue them on their journey. Um, so, you know, we're really focusing on the players that we brought in and, you know, already we can see the impact that they're having. Someone like Merritt has got so much experience within the league, um, is a real top competitor and is already, you know, in training and, and making sure that the standards are kept high so I think you know being able to bring those players in that have had success have won championships has been a great addition for us. Yeah and did you ask the players to do anything to rest in the offseason? Um, not that you're concerned about the burnout but how do you have them address the offseason? Yeah it's getting balanced you know we need to be doing enough to be ticking over because October to February is a large gap to not be playing football but at the same time, you need to rest and recover because the season is so like, brutally uh, tiring and draining at times, especially with the amount of travel. You know, this league, we travel far more than most other sports leagues, but also do it on public planes. And, you know, it's not the case of flying private like with MLS or, you know, the other teams that are flying the same distances. So that can be grueling in itself when you can't set a schedule um, that the players can provide optimum recovery and optimum performance for. So it's exhausting. Um, so it's important for the players to get that life balance back and get that recovery in the off season. And just briefly, what is the different approach this year as far as preparing the team right now in these first few weeks leading up to preseason and into the league? How, how different is it than last year when you have to assemble everything right on the spot? We had planning time. <laughs> we had from our off season. We had October, you know, right through until now to be able to actually plan. And you know, our staff worked tirelessly all across the off season um, to be in market, to be planning, um, and to be looking at all the improvements that we can make. And that just simply wasn't the lead-in time that we had last year because we were too busy building a team from scratch. You know, so the fact that we had the majority of players in place and we're looking at just slight improvements has has really helped us because then we can focus on exactly who we want to be, how we want to play, and all those little details that is going to help us be successful this year. Yeah, and finally, could you talk about the staff additions? Yeah, um, the staff additions, excuse me one second. Yeah, really, really happy with the additional staff that we've been brought in. You know, it, whether it's performance and medical, um, with the hire of our new performance director, Sarah, who has got a wealth of experience at international level and experience of winning and being successful at, and what it takes at that very top level, all the way through to our new coaching staff in, in Melissa and in Becky. Um, great experience in, in different ways. Melissa has you know, shown herself to be a winning head coach uh, over in England and you know they've been on an absolutely crazy run in, in the championship with London City Lionesses. So to bring her in and her wealth of experience both in the US and also in England is, is been great and already you know that experience is starting to show and Becky the same thing great experience within the league working with top players great reputation as well as working with the England uh, sorry the youth national teams here as well as being a professional player in England you know that's a that's a lot that we can add in to myself and O'Leary and Daniel who have been here last year too thank you very much thanks thank you okay cool I have Sarah Gordon and